Adding new grid lines to existing curtain walls can be done in multiple ways. Some curtain walls come with existing grid lines, while others do not. To add grid lines, we can select a wall and then open the Curtain Grid tool. In order to place grid lines, we are given three options, all segments, one segment, and all except picked. Let us start by using the all segments tool which will create a grid line across the whole panel. By hovering over the horizontal edge of a panel, we can place vertical grid lines. Revit will automatically snap to key points, for example, center lines. Once a panel is split, we can snap to the center line of the new panel. By hovering over the vertical edge of the panel, we can create horizontal grid lines. Once again, we are able to snap to the center line of the panel or divide the panel into thirds. Next, let's use the One Segment tool. This tool will allow us to create a grid line across a single segment instead of across the whole wall. Once again, by hovering over horizontal edges, we can place vertical grid lines and by hovering over vertical edges, we can create horizontal grid lines. Now, let's use the All Except Picked tool. This tool starts by placing a line across the whole wall, but then we can select segments that we wish to exclude. Once we have chosen the segments to exclude, the new segments will be created. Existing curtain grid lines are easily modified. First, let's select the grid line that we wish to modify. Next, open the Add Remove Segments tool. Using this tool, we can select the segments that we wish to remove, turning the solid line into a dashed line. Multiple segments can be removed at once. We can use the same process to add grid lines. First, click on the grid line that we want to be modified. Open the Add Remove Segment tool and select segments that we want to add, turning the dashed line into a solid line. After curtain grid lines have been created, it is easy to place mullions. To do so, we can open the mullions tool located under the Home tab. Once again, we are given multiple options to place mullions. Grid line, grid line segment, and all grid lines. Start by opening the grid line tool. We can now simply select the grid lines in order to place the mullions. Notice that the mullions are placed along the whole grid line. The grid lines being used can be changed by selecting a new type. The all grid lines tool can be used to place mullions over the whole system. When dealing with a curtain grid system that is not defined by its type to have a pattern, such as this one, it is easy to make modifications. Let's select a mullion. We can now change the location of the segment by changing its temporary dimension. Modifying grid lines is more difficult when dealing with curtain walls that have a defined curtain grid pattern. This curtain wall is currently defined by its type property to have a fixed number of vertical and horizontal grid lines.
If we try to select a Boolean, we will notice that the element has been locked in place. To unpin an element, we can click the pin icon. Now that the element has been unpinned, we can make alterations to the curtain wall. In order to make major changes, multiple elements can be selected at one time. Holding the control key while selecting mullions allows us to create one large selection. This selection can now be unpinned simultaneously using the Unpin tool. Once the mullions are unpinned, they can also be deleted simultaneously. With the mullions gone, we can now edit the grid lines. Once again, by holding the control key, we can select multiple grid lines and unpin them simultaneously. Now, we can use the Add Remove Segment tool to remove grid line segments.